Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy World Number 4, back at again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some easy, quick rune farms. Without wasting any of your guys' time, let's hop straight into this. For this first rune farm, you're going to want to go to the Third Church of America. Once here, you're going to want to follow my location to the back side of it. It's going to have a little hidden entrance. All you're going to want to do is follow my location to this hidden teleporter. It's going to teleport you to Dragon Barrow. All you're going to want to do is call on Torrent and follow my location. We're going to pick up a quick site of grace. This site of grace is called Ferrum Great Bridge. You're going to want to pick it up, and you're going to realize there's some enemies nearby. They're not really part of the rune farm, but you guys could farm them. They give you about 1,500 runes each time you take one down. It's pretty nice. Pretty quick backstabs in here, and they won't be the wiser. But this isn't the rune farm we're going to be looking at. So all you're going to want to do is call back on Torrent and follow my location. We are going to be going to the grace called Lena's Rise, and it's right over this bridge. Once you get to that grace, you're going to want to go down this hill, and you're going to look at this rock that's kind of pointed towards you, like you guys can see I'm getting closer to it. Right when you pass that line of the rock, the boulder's going to spawn behind you. As you guys can see, it's super easy to dodge. All you're going to want to do is turn around and dash to the side. The boulder will then go off the cliff, and then all you have to do is go back to the side of grace. Now, if you have a PS5 or the new Xbox X, all you have to do is literally just go to map and then hit Lena's Rise, because it is faster that way than traveling back. But if you don't, I suggest traveling back because the loading time will be way longer than actually just walking back. But with this first rune farm done, let's move on to our second one. This next rune farm is at the Palace Approach Ledge Road. Once you're here, you're going to want to have at least a bow with some arrows and a solid Ash of War. The Ash of War I will be using, the Hora Frost Stomp, pretty effective. So once you have everything equipped, all you're going to want to do is pull out your bow, aim for the bird, fire shot at it, and it should want to chase you. It will chase you all the way off its own mountain and drop down to give you at least about 10 to 13,000 runes. And once you get those runes, all you're gonna wanna do is have your weapon ready with the Ash of War correctly put on it. I'm using the Frost Stomp, and you're gonna wanna go over here and just keep Frost Stomping these enemies. Now, the sleeping enemies are easy, but be careful of the enemies that are walking by. They will wanna take you down as quickly as possible, and sometimes they raise up their shields, which could be annoying, and delay the rune farm slightly. Now, if you guys are having trouble getting to this location, if you are a new player or you just don't know how to get here don't worry at the end of the video i will tell you how to get here but with this rune farm done let's move on to our next the last rune farm is going to be taking place in liturgical town all you want to do is when you go at this side of grace call on torrent and follow my path it's super simple you're basically going around this castle once you reach the top you're going to see the edge you're going to want to jump off the edge and then double jump get that extra space and keep swinging continuously now after about two minutes you should get about a hundred thousand runes and you're going to want to call back to that side of grace at liturgical town you could call back to any side of grace but there's literally no point if you're trying to get back into this rune farm it's a very simple rune farm and i suggest you guys take advantage of it especially since the shadow of the earth tree is right around the corner but with this rune farm done let's explain how we got into mogon palace basically there's going to be a white masked man at the first side of grace you're going to want to talk to him and he's going to tell you to progress through the game you're gonna have to beat the first two bosses, which can be a pain, but you guys got it. I suggest using that first rune farm to rack up some levels before facing them. But after defeating Margit and Goderick, you will proceed to the Rose Church. Once you get there, you will see the White Masked Man on the side. You are going to want to talk to the White Masked Man, and he's going to talk about the two fingers. You're going to make sure you tell him they did not seem right. Once you tell him that, he's going to give you a festering bloody finger. That's going to make you invade other people's worlds. It's super simple. You guys do not have to win them at all. All you have to do is invade them once you invade them you could easily jump off a cliff let them take you down it does not matter just at least three times you have to invade people after those three times you're gonna want to go back to the rose church and talk to the white masked man again once back at the rose church and you're talking to the white masked man he's gonna want to anoint you make sure you let him anoint you he will then also give you a lord of blood's favor you're going to have to drench that in maiden's blood a maiden is nearby and she's actually in the church of inhibition and there is a close grace nearby called the frenzy flame outskirts i suggest picking it up because there is a NPC that spawns in that wants to take you down and is quite hard at low levels so that's just an in-case precautionary reason but once you drench the towel and the maiden's blood all you're gonna want to do is go back to the Rose Church you will receive a bloody finger and you will also receive a pure blood knight's medal once you have that all you're gonna want to do is use it and it's going to bring you into Mogon's palace 
ones here as you can see on my map you're going to want to go up these stairs to the left you will have a set of grace there once you go back down you're going to want to follow my map again all the way over here up the hill and there will be another side of grace and that is how you get there to do the farms hopefully that helped and if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe comment down below and i'll catch you guys next time peace Thank <laughs> you.